Namaskar and uh, my greetings to all the chancellors and the academic friends out there in Oxford Union. I must begin by congratulating Oxford Union for organizing this summit, uh, which is to oversee the excellence and how do we remodel higher education or education system per se for the future. Uh, when I say future, it's, it's, it's how do we carve a new uh, avant-garde, uh, you know, policies for higher education or education system for younger generations. So therefore, we are looking at the future of universities. So I must congratulate Oxford Union for organizing this summit of leadership, uh, which is to share their ideas. So this is a platform of chancellors and educational leaders. Um, I, I also realize that Oxford Union has nearly 350 universities, university leaders associated with them. Uh, this is truly remarkable. Because when you get 350 educational leaders to posit on education, I think what is going to happen is um, emergence of ideas that, that's uh, going to be relevant for future. It's churning of new pathways for higher education. So therefore, this is a moment of uh, congratulations for uh, Oxford Union academic union and I must also thank the academic union of Oxford for the quality award that has been instituted and has been bestowed to us as Nalanda University. Thank you very much. Um, I feel highly privileged and humbled because uh, this would mean that we need to constantly be uh, looking at new ideas, how do we remodel education, particularly uh, given the changing, the unprecedented changing times in, in the world. And therefore, there is a need for us to look at how do we remodel higher education for a multipolar world, a world that seems to be coming together in many ways and falling apart in certain ways. Uh, if I look at the education scenario across the world, there are over 25,000 universities in the world. India alone has over 1,000 universities or degree awarding institutions out here. You know, when we look at 25,000 universities, um, I wonder if we continue to be traditional in our ways of looking at education system or have we started becoming uh, innovative because I notice there are scientists, there are innovators in the education leaders who are there. So I, I think that we are in the right place at the right time to posit on different uh, variables of education. How do we chart a new pathway for education? I have three ideas here and I might uh, you know, share these with you. Uh, perhaps this can be taken up for discussion. Uh, as I'm going to miss the event physically there, while I shall be with you uh, online, I mean, hybrid mode or whatever mode that is relevant for us. So when I was looking at the education system, you know, are we building an integrative uh, churning of ideas and are we recording these in, in our attempt at remodeling education system uh, because learning is not just a cognitive process um, it's a social endeavor according to me because every individual in these over 25,000 universities you know when they step out of the portal they would be occupying positions in the government or otherwise NGOs, offices, wherever, and they might be in leadership uh, positions. So how do they then chart a new pathway if we are unable to give an education system which is holistic in nature? 
you know where innovation critical thinking or design thinking um, uh, new integrative interdisciplinary courses uh, flexibility in education model where you do have physics with music or astronomy with dance or whatever you know you have to look at different disciplines coming together there should be a confluence that's point number 1 you know the other thing uh, uh, i wanted to share with you is uh, we should create new models of partnerships between institutions the collaborative nature the partnerships that we forge today need to be meaningful need to be in in tune with perhaps giving them uh, you know uh, sharing the degrees with, with institutions or probably sharing the courses it, it has to be a co-tutel or uh, you know it, it how innovative can we get here because building partnerships with, with universities across the world will play a humongous role in remodeling education because on the platform of academic union oxford itself we have as many as 350 leaders so how do we look at technology today do we combine it with problem solving do we combine it with the new learning spaces that, that seem to be emerging on a day-to-day -day basis. That's very important. And the third and perhaps the most crucial uh, is uh, where is the world going? You know, uh, one of the things that we find, whether it is UN um, or uh, the countries that are currently uh, worried about is the climate change. So environment, how it needs to be part of our process of grooming in education system, not just a theoretic base, but it has to be experiential. How do we look at these youngsters and what do we leave for them, leave for the future generation, you know, the, the, the kind of world we leave for them. Now they have to make a living out of it. So uh, I, I think we should be mindful of the climate change, the environment, ecology. How do we need to train them? How do they need to respect the earth and the nature? You know? uh, that's very, how does it become part of our uh, remodeling of education without being in the face? You know, not everybody need to get an environment degree per se. But that building that awareness and education within the entire process, I think that's very crucial. So we need to look at and also, uh, uh, you know, we look at the world and it, it, it's somewhere it's been intruding into our privacy also. So we look at social media and other things. So perhaps we need to look at that also. Is it corroding? Um, into a peace. So uh, that is where I want an ethos of peace building which should be part of education system. So how do we, these are some of the ideas that I thought I'll put across uh, uh, while I'm not there and for uh, all of you to pause it upon, I'm sure there are some uh, preeminent academics and scholars who already have, have done some research in these areas and have new ways of looking at it without getting too technical, without getting too, um, uh, you know, theoretical about it. So my best wishes to um, Academic Union of Oxford. I hope you keep going in the spirit and uh, in your next meeting, I, am, I hope I'm there and I look forward. So take care. Uh, enjoy the journey of journey of ideas and I hope to see uh, action paper emerging out of it. Thank you. Thank you from India and from Nalanda University. Thank you very much.